Good morning. Hello, everyone. Happy, fabulous Monday. I hope you are having an absolutely fabulous kind of day. Welcome. Hey, how you doing, Brooke? My name is Nichelle Womack, and I am your life transition strategist. Got a little happiness going on today with some boss moves and some boss music. How's it going in your world? What's going on? Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be with me. Thank you. Hey, how you doing, Regina? How you doing today? Adrian, what's going on? Good morning. Hey, Cheryl, what's going on? Hey, Adrian, what's going on with you guys? Good morning. I pray it was an absolutely fabulous kind of weekend for you. What's going on, Budden? How you doing today? Welcome into the room. Thank you so much for taking time. I am absolutely fabulous. Starting off my week with a little push. Yes, morning juice. We all need that. Had my coffee already. It's a great day in Texas. It's a great day in Missouri, too, except we got a little cloudiness going on here. Hey, how you doing, Louis Jordan? Welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be with me. If I rule the world, that's Nas in the background playing, okay? CEO moves. How you doing today? Welcome. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Kyle, how are you? Welcome. Thank you everyone for taking time out of your morning to be with me. My name is Nichelle Womack and I am your life transition strategist. I help you start, market, and grow the CEO of you, chief executive officer of you. Yes, whatever you're transitioning to or through in your journey to success, I can help you get there. Thank you for taking time out of your day, everyone, to be with me. I am hoping and praying that you are starting your morning off absolutely fabulous. It shouldn't start any other way. Wake up with the mindset of the type of day that you want to have. If you want to have a great day, you got to wake up that you're going to have a great day. You got to have that attitude that you're going to have a great day. Hey, sassy me, how you doing? Welcome, Matt. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be with me again. My name is Nichelle Womack, and I am your life transition strategist. I help you start market and grow the CEO of you. Whatever you're transitioning to or through in your journey to success, I can help you get there. Welcome, Rev. What's going on? So today, we are going to talk about five things that a CEO understands. Yes, a CEO. Remember, I say all the time, we are all the CEOs of ourselves, of our business, of our experiences, of our opportunities. You're the CEO of you. And so you are in essence in control of it. Good morning. Hey, Regina, how's it going? And I say this for the simple reason is that when you go get a job, you are applying for the skills that they're requesting, but you have those skills. You are embodying those skills. And so when they hire you, awesome. When they hire you, thank you so much. You are as well. When they hire you, they're hiring you for the skills that you put down in that resume or on that application that you said you have. So again, in essence, you are relaying that information, that CEO mentality. We have to have that all, all the time throughout every experience that we go through. In our relationships, in our business, in our lifestyle, we have to have that CEO mentality. So five things that I know a CEO understands, because I have been the CEO of me for so long. <laughs> I've always had the CEO mindset and mentality. And the more that you have it of you know that you your skills are in, indispensable yes you can go anywhere and get a new opportunity you don't have to worry about being fired laid off business fail or anything of that nature when you understand that you are the ceo of you and so number one my first thing if you're ready for number one put up a number one please or give me some fist bumps high five yes number one thank you so much one the first thing that you need to understand about being the ceo of you is that being a CEO is unstoppable. You're unstoppable and it's 100% profitable. Did you hear me? Being the CEO is unstoppable and that you're 100% profitable. So whatever you touch, it should turn to go. If you have that CEO mindset that you're going into it with the opportunity to make it profitable. No one wants to do anything that's not profitable. You can't make no money if it's not profitable. You're just having a hobby. That's all that is. If your business is not profitable, it's just a hobby. Hi from Germany. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for taking time out of 
your day. God bless you as well. So let's stop making our dreams a hobby and make them profitable. Good morning, Chris. How are you today? God bless you as well. And so again, being a CEO, you're unstoppable and you're 100% profitable. Number two, and let me just re-elaborate on that a little bit. You should know your worth. You know, sometimes people take jobs, you know, minimum wage. I haven't worked a minimum wage job in quite some time. Blessed by the best. Amen. That is a good thing this morning. I haven't worked a minimum job wage job in a long time. It's nothing wrong with it if you do, because you got to start somewhere. I was just telling my teenage son this morning that you got to do what you got to do until you can do what you want to do. And so you got to start somewhere, but you have to know that you're worth more than minimum wage. You got to know. And that's that CEO mentality, that mindset, because you can have a minimum wage job and have something on the side to supplement that minimum wage you don't just have to be content with that now believe it or not some people are lifestyle that's up to you but you don't have to be content with that you got to start somewhere and if it's that minimum wage you got to start there till you can do the things that you want to do but keep in mind opportunity lies all around us so number two that second ceo understanding that most have they have goals so big that they make other people uncomfortable a lot of times you know the company that you keep if you're around people that are telling you that you dream too big tell them they dream too small they think too small yes because we're going to be around those people all the time i know all the time i'm walking around and i'm telling people yes you will see my name in forbes magazine they look at me like um she just talking uh-huh yes you love my nostrils thank you um they uh talk about um they tell you that you're not going to be in fours. Make, make you scared. They should make you scared as well. If your dreams are so big, they should make you scared. If they're not making you scared, then you need to look in some more goals and some more dreams because they should make you fearful in jumping out on that faith. Yes. Thank you so much. And so they understand that they are not like the rest of the other people. CEOs know that they're not like employees. They know that they're not. And that's why they go out and create. They create opportunity because they know they are not like employees. Thank you so much. They know they're not like employees. They know their mindset is different. Their attitude is different. And their vibe is different as well. Number three, practice they practice what they talk about. You know, so many people talk a good game. Talk is so cheap. Talk is so cheap. They talk a good game, but are they living up to that game? Hello, welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. They talk a good game, but you got to talk the walk. You got to walk the talk. You got to live the talk and you got to do what you say that you do. You know, all of us are starting somewhere we're getting there, you know, and, and again, I, I've shared this before. I don't believe in faking it till you make it. I believe them making it, you know, so you don't have to fake it. And so if you want to be a business owner, start somewhere by just getting the name for your business. If you want to write a book, start somewhere by writing the con table of contents. If you want to be better in your relationships, put down some things that you know you need to improve on on yourself before you jump into that relationship because it all starts with us whether things succeed or not we got to look in the mirror as i say all the time you expect it to happen you got to put in the effort amen yes number four excuses will always be there but opportunity won't opportunity will not always be there people say opportunity is always there yes you will find and seek it every day but is that the opportunity for you because remember opportunities come dressed as overalls in work and people don't want to work having a business is very hard it's not easy and it's not for everyone and so that's the first thing that you have to recognize is it for you is this something that you are fully ready to commit to? That you're fully ready to put all your all into it? All everything that you got into this opportunity taking place. Now, I've always been one to have multiple things. Yes, but you got to start with one thing first. And once you get better at that one thing, then you can move to that second thing and that third thing. But start with one thing first. If it's a simple thing, it's just getting a website about what you want to do. You got to start somewhere hello you are amazing as well thank you so much so excuses will always be there but opportunity won't and you got to find opportunity because it exists around us every day you know your worth by the time when i listen from the shower <laughs> oh 
Oh, you listen for the shower to me. Oh, Chris, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Be careful. Don't slip and fall now. You got some things to go out there to keep that CEO life going for you. Yes, okay. So excuses will always be there. Opportunity won't. But you got to be looking for it. You got to be ready for opportunity when it presents itself to you. You cannot say, oh, that's a scam. And you know what? Because life is a scam. Life will scam you so much that you end up broke, destitute, tired, and ready to do something different. That's a scam. A scam is when you get up every morning and you got to rush to be somewhere because if you don't, you're going to get fired. That's a scam. A scam is when you're not paid for what you're worth. Okay, because we're all worth more than what we're paid. I don't care what type of job you have. Even if you're making over $100,000 a year, which I have done in my lifetime. And, you know, I still say I'm working so hard. I don't have time for me. I don't have time for my family. And when you don't have time for you and your family and doing the things that you enjoy doing, you got that big, pretty house, but you're not there. You got that big, pretty house, but you're not there. You got that nice car, but you can't drive it because you're in that office building all day long. You know, money is important. It is awesome to have it it's a blessing to have it but is it worth your happiness you got to look at that too yes and so number five entrepreneurs ceos make their passion their paycheck did you hear me ceo mentality ceo mindset ceos understand that whatever it is they love to do they make that passion their paycheck and so they're getting paid for what they love bill gates didn't just start out there making microsoft because he just liked the way they look he said i like something about computers and he started learning more about them becoming better at it and making his passion his paycheck oprah winfrey she just didn't like sitting in front of the camera because she was cute she wanted to sit up there and say something of meaning because she knew that she had something to offer to the world she knew knows now she has her own tv station that she has something to offer to the world and so every successful ceo and that successful reading is success yes lead Leaders are readers and leaders take notes too because leaders want to make certain that they can go to that next level. CEOs take notes. They take notes from other people who have been successful. So even though you are a CEO, that don't stop your learning and your growth from there. And you got to keep going. You got to keep moving up. You got to keep reaching that higher level. Is there a pinnacle to your success? For some there is. For some there isn't. They keep on going and creating other things. And that's what CEOs do. They understand they have to always create. They have to always understand that they have to be in the mindset of creation. Because if you are not in the mindset of creation, you're going to be in the mindset of being broke. Good morning, Monica. How are you today? And so we have to always remember that a CEO understands that they must continue to create, build, and then also they must be in the mindset of creating opportunity for others as well. And that's the lifestyle that I live. That's the lifestyle that I enjoy. I enjoy helping other people achieve their CEO life as well. My name is Nichelle Womack. I have a cold, you guys. So I apologize for breaking off here. The cutting edge. Yes, always stay on the cutting edge because if you stay on the cutting edge, you don't have to worry about being cut off. Okay, <laughs> that is my scope for today. Let me see if I got some extra notes here. And I also want to remind you, always show up to win. You know, sometimes people show up with the mindset that, you know, this isn't for them, that, you know, they don't, they already come in with a negative mindset. And so when you come in with a negative mindset, how do you expect it to be a success? Go in with the anticipation that you're going to win. I thank you so much. Love you too, Chris. I have a cold. Um, the weather been changing a lot lately. So I'm trying to just stay focused and make sure I get those antibiotics of life and love in me. Those juices I juice. So I try to stay healthy, happy with uh, nutrients that are healthy for me. Stay happy and safe. And don't let everyone bring you down. Amen. Don't ever let anyone bring you down. Your mindset, your mentality, because health is wealth. Amen. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. And stay fabulous always. Much needed. Thank you. God bless you as well. Always have the CEO mindset. I don't care where you are in your job, whatever it is you're doing, in your relationships, in your business. Remember, CEOs work together to build greatness. And that's what you have to do. Build collaboration. All those things that you have to do to take your life to the next level. Because there is a next level. Life is not stationary. Life continues to move. Life continues to get great. But you got to have that attitude and that mindset that it will.
And so my name is Nichelle Womack. I am your life transition strategist. I help you start, market, and grow the CEO of you. Good morning. Hey, how you doing, lady? I haven't seen you in a while, Shakita. What's going on? That's a travel agent there. If you're looking to travel, get in contact with her. I got my friend Adrian, my friend Monica on here, my friend Chris. Uh, saw a couple other people. Please charge it to my mind and at my heart if I didn't catch you coming in there. But I greatly appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day you love my slogan yes <laughs> thank you so much it took a minute for me to get it Chris you know because I always keep that mindset and and you must keep that mindset to continue to persist and exist and exist in this life it makes your day god bless you again nichelle womack your life transition strategist if you are looking to transition to or through your purpose in life contact me at nichelle and it's with an n i'm not the same as everybody else nichelle womack number two at gmail.com i look forward to helping you become the ceo of you Thank you so much. I appreciate the hearts, everyone. I greatly appreciate the shares. I'm getting ready to go get me some hot tea, some hot green tea. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate you as well. God bless you. God bless you. Have an absolutely fabulous kind of day. Thank you, everyone. Have a day, a great day. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye. All right, Chris. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <coughs> You don't want to let me let you guys go. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.